this internship as he does. Only if he dropped out. And then only if the other 20 people were worse than you, which pretty much is impossible. I'm gonna get this internship. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. Do we have 15 minutes? Be outside? Okay. Where are you going? Where do you think? I meant what I said earlier. I need to finish talking to you. Well, I'll be right back. And we're not going to talk right now, okay? Can I talk to you? Sure. smashed. Tim's about to wet himself from this internship. They're vulnerable. Use it. <sighs> I don't need your help. I told you that already. So, Willie, does Beth know you're drinking again? Okay. My drinking is not going to be a problem because me and Beth are back together. And we're in love. Mm -hmm. Is that why she complained about you all night to max the night he died? Okay, you know what? I've grown a lot since that night. Two inches. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But sir, emotionally, I'm grown. I'm a big boy. Mm. Yeah. So, do you remember anything from that night? You were pretty drunk. You were too. We all were. Well, you know, except for Beth. But need I remind you that my body was running on alcohol up until Christmas. So you do remember stuff then. Mm, but like, what are you doing? Is Chris like your new role model or something? Actually, yeah, he probably should be because. He was able to have sex with Sarah. <laughs> hmm, yeah. You seem a little angry. Did you get some bad news, maybe about your internship? Okay, I'd try explaining it to you, but you're probably too dumb to understand. Maybe. But you know who would be able to understand real well? Max. You know, I hear he was right in line to get that internship until he died. Well, yeah, maybe he had a better chance back in September. But... Now he stole his papers. What? I saw you take his papers from his room when we were cleaning it out. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't need my help? Yeah, it's two blocks down. Third story up. I'll be outside. What are you doing here? By um, yourself? Yeah, I have something to talk to Vanessa about. She's inside. Go ahead. What are you doing here? Well, I just thought I'd come and see how things were going. Oh, come on, Brittany. You're just here to mess with Vanessa. But leave her alone. Look at that. Little Miss Goody Two-Shoes finally got a backbone. Well, relax. I'm just here to spread the truth. What truth? Your friend Chris came to visit Caitlin and I about a month ago. <laughs> and because I thought that I should protect you, I didn't tell him the full truth. Well, that was before I found out that you slept with Tevin. And you had no right. But I guess you can't really help it, can you? What do you know about Vanessa? Well, uh, I happen to have been there the night she shared something with Max, the night he died. What are you guys doing here? I told you. You told us a lot of things, but not what you're uh, doing with Max here. I mean, he clearly won't sleep with you. He's not going to settle for somebody like you. Can you seriously take this from them? They're my friends. The only people I can count on. You can't count on them. Vanessa, where are your friends? I know we don't include you in everything, but we like you. All of us do. How sweet. It's a real Hallmark moment. Now, what were you two arguing about? Yeah, and what things are you trying to fix? It's really none of your business. Vanessa's our best friend. Everything's our business. <laughs> no, it's not. I guess I'll tell you anyway. I've just been having a problem, okay? What problem? 
despite what it seems, I'm a very insecure person. <laughs> and I I sleep around with guys and it's ruining my life, okay? So you're saying you're a sexaholic? Um, okay. This this place is really lame. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, yeah. God, Vanessa, you are always good for a laugh. Thank you. Yeah. You've completed our night. That's all. Well, that's my cue to you, too. Thanks for the help anyway, Max. See you. So, Caitlin and I checked around and counted, and it turns out that Vanessa has slept with 20 people within the last year. Too bad you ended up with Max. Could have made it 21. Now, what number was Devin? Get out of my apartment. No. I'm not leaving until Caitlin gets here, and actually, that could be a while because, well, she's out on a date with a guy who's not a random one-night stand. Tough concept, huh? <gasps> who's up for Clueless? So, uh, are you gonna follow me around until I admit what I did? I already know what you did. And you obviously know as well. But no one else knows. <laughs> Except Sarah. You can't keep a secret this big and expect for everything to be okay. And your pills are just a temporary fix. And not a very good one. No one has to know. And nobody will know. No one will know what? Nothing. Does this have anything to do with Max's death? Maybe, but it has nothing to do with you, Blake. Zach's crazy! Zach is crazy, Zach is so crazy, Zach's so crazy. He suddenly got really into the bomb, man. You're so leaking crazy! I'm too drunk to move. Oh, and Vanessa's a sexaholic. Spread the word. So you didn't sleep with Max? No. Why didn't you just say that? Because my sex life is a disaster. And I try to avoid the topic. Guys, I think Max doing drugs in there. What? Oops. Know what? That sells drugs. Did someone say someone was selling Uggs? Yes, a store in the mall. Oh, I've been there. And you think she's in there now doing them? Yeah, I think so. I'll be out in a minute. Beth. Hi. Beth. Beth, you're never gonna leave, believe what happened. She's never gonna believe what happened. Zach jumped on the stage and he started attacking air. Now's not a good time, Will. Oh, gotta go. Charlie's Angels just busted in. Beth, what are you doing? Can you really not tell? Beth, I thought you were smarter than this. But dealing with stuff, that's no good. Well, kind of smart, but using this stuff? It's gonna mess you up. It's my life, and I can mess it up if I want. Besides, Willie's blackmailing me into dating him. So if I dump him, he tells the cops. I have to do something to make this easier. <laughs> <laughs>